state-of-the-art technology just arriving in the valley. It's for medical marijuana dispensaries, but our state's rules aren't even close to complete. Only on ABC 15, Christina Boomer shows you what these new machines do. The very first uh, medical marijuana automated dispensing machine in the state. That's Dr. Bruce Bedrick of Kind Clinics. We specialize in helping people uh, get into the business and operate medical marijuana dispensaries. He believes this ATM-like machine will help future dispensary owners and the state keep digital tabs on who's buying, how much, and where. It would all start here, at a computer. The dispensary would enter the patient's information and electronically record their fingerprint. We're going to have you, Kathy, place your finger on that. Bedrick says this should prevent fraud. This dispenses the marijuana medicine, and it's all done with a prepaid debit card. You have points put on this, and it's really simple. I'm going to insert a machine in and out. I'm then going to press my finger on the biometric scanner. We're going to press an hour to continue, and then you have the medicine choices up in front of you. You'll be able to pick from what we hope to be somewhere between 20 and 50 strains of marijuana medicine. Select a strain and the computer will display a picture and brief description of that variety. Next, select the amount, which will be regulated by the state. We're going to take this one and it confirms your selection. Yes, that's what I want. And then it gets dispensed. As you can see, private companies, private business gearing up and getting ready, while state health department workers right now are writing the rules and regulations for medical marijuana. Now, they hope to have the first draft available for you to see in about three weeks, and then they actually want you, your input, on anything that should be changed or anything that should be modified. You can find out how to do that by going to abc15.com and clicking on 15 links. Reporting live in Phoenix, Christina Boomer, ABC 15 News.